11 of the boy in the dress. These high heels are killing me. You did it, said Lisa, as they sat on the wall to recover their breath. He really thought I was a girl, exclaimed Dennis. That's the best fun I've had well ever. Well, let's go into town then. There should be loads of people there. I'd love to, Lisa, but these high heels are killing me, said Dennis. Not easy being a girl, is it? She said. No, I had no idea your shoes were so painful. How'd you wear them all day? He took his shoes off and rubbed his feet. They felt like they'd been put in a vice from the metalwork room. Ah, let's just go back, Lisa. I need to get changed and go and meet John up at the park anyway. He'll be wondering where I am. Oh, Lisa couldn't hide her disappointment. Spoil sport. Morning, Lisa. It was Mac, a boy from Lisa's year. He huffed and puffed his way up the street to join them. Mac was one of the fattest boys in the school and endeavoured, and endured, sorry, the unwelcome celebrity that went with it. He had been to Raj's shop, as he did every day, and was carrying a bag of goodies. Oh, hi, said Lisa brightly, before whispering to Dennis. Don't worry, just keep it up. She raised her voice and said, So, Mac, have you got anything nice there? Unlike most of the pupils, Lisa called Mac by his name rather than his nickname, Big Mac and Fries. Sometimes children pass on cruelty unthinkingly like they would a cold, but Lisa was different. Oh, it's just my breakfast, Lisa. A couple of bags of Maltesers, a Toblerone, a Bounty, Jelly Tots, some Skips, seven bags of Monster Munch. Raj was doing a special offer today. A box of cream eggs, a can of Diet Coke. Diet Coke? asked Lisa. Yeah, I'm trying to lose some weight, said Mac, without irony. Well, good luck with that, said Lisa, almost without irony. You know, it wouldn't do if we were all thin, you know. Maybe not. Who's your lovely friend, then? He asked with a smile as he popped a whole cream egg in his mouth. Oh, this is my French pen pal, Denise. She's staying with me for a bit. Dennis smiled at Mac uncertainly. Mac stared at him and kept chewing. It was quite a long time before he had demolished enough of the cream egg in his mouth to resume speaking. Bonjour, Dennis, uh, he mumbled through the chocolate. Bonjour, Mac, replied Dennis, praying the conversation would continue past the few French words he wouldn't continue past the few French words he knew. Parlez vous anglais? Mac asked. Oui, I mean, yes, a little, said Dennis awkwardly. I had a French pen pal come stay once. Hervé was his name. Nice guy. Smelled a bit though. He wouldn't take a shower, so in the end we had to hose him down at the end of the garden. He was still chewing. Hervé came into school with me. Are you coming in with Lisa tomorrow? I do hope so. I think French girls are gorgeous. As he said this, a little spittle of chocolate egg ran down his chin. Dennis looked at Lisa with panic in his eyes. Um, yes, of course Denise is coming in with me tomorrow, said Lisa. I am, said Dennis, so shocked he nearly lost his lady voice and his French accent all at once. Yes, of course you are. We'll see you tomorrow, Mac. OK, girls, au revoir, said Mac, before he made his way down the street, joyfully swinging his bag of conf confectionery as he went. Oh no, said Dennis. Oh yes, said Lisa. Are you out of your mind? Come on, at least think about it. What if you could fool everyone at school? It would be such a laugh and it would, and it would be our little secret. Well, I suppose it would be the most amazing thing, said Dennis, a smile broadening across his face. If the teachers, my friends, my brother, if everyone believed I was a girl. Well, okay, but I'm gonna need some different shoes. But little did Dennis know, as he tottered home in his uncomfortable shoes, that he was about to take a tumble.